do you know how to create a workflow? Though creating a workflow might seem like a complex undertaking at first, it's a great way to improve efficiencies in your business processes. In today's video, we'll discuss how to create a workflow. I'm Raid from JotForm, let's begin. Creating a workflow might seem complicated, but the truth is you've already created workflows in your business without even realizing it. All business processes that you have, like paying invoices or hiring new employees, are composed of specific, repeatable steps that you act out each time you complete the process. When you know where to begin, documenting these actions to establish a workflow is much easier than you would expect. The first step is to map out how complicated a particular process is. While paying an invoice is simple, submit the invoice, get manager approval, and pay the vendor. Hiring a new employee is much more complex. For this, you'll have to write a job description, post the job opening, review resumes, conduct interviews, contact references, and decide which applicant to hire. Even more, once you've hired an employee, you'll need to issue them equipment, enter essential forms into your systems, and get the employee on your payroll. Then you'll need to schedule an orientation and make sure that the employee signs any necessary documents. Luckily, complex processes like hiring an employee can be made easier by creating a workflow. To determine how complex your workflow will be, list out each step that you typically take to achieve a goal by writing in what you do in detail. Take for instance, reimbursing employees for expenses. First, the employee completes an expense report, scans receipts, and emails everything to their manager. Second, the manager reviews the expense report, checks the receipts, and forwards the email to payroll. However, if the manager doesn't approve the expenses, the manager emails the employee requesting that they remedy the report. The employee then resubmits the expense report. Once the manager approves the revised expense report, they can send it to payroll. Third, payroll adds the total amount of reimbursement to the employee's paycheck. And fourth and finally, payroll creates a record of the expense to track departmental spending. While your expense report process might look different, the idea is the same. Writing out the steps will help you see who is responsible for each step and to properly assign roles. Sometimes it won't be immediately clear who should manage a task. For one, when you're hiring, you'll have to decide who should write the job description. It could be someone in HR or even the manager of the role. Next, you'll need to create a workflow diagram to visually represent the process. Try using a software like JotForm with drag and drop capability to easily position various elements of your workflow. We offer workflow templates that you can customize, making it much easier to build your workflow diagram. It's important for the workflow to be represented visually, including any process contingencies. Another key step is to test the workflow. While it might appear foolproof, you need to be certain that you haven't missed a step before you put your workflow into action. Testing will ensure a streamlined workflow that's free of any unnecessary steps. Ask those who will be a part of the workflow to help as their feedback will be key for refining your work. When you've created and tested the workflow, you can begin to train team members on how to use it. Start by implementing the workflow on a small scale to see how it works in real time. Once you know it's good to go, you can deploy it throughout your organization. Creating a workflow is an investment in efficiency. By documenting the steps you take to complete routine work, you can highlight opportunities to optimize your systems. The time you spend creating a workflow will pay off for years to come. Let's go ahead and take a moment to review what we discussed today. Documenting your processes to create a workflow is easier than you might think. Follow these steps to create workflows for your business processes. Map out how simple or complex your process is. Then list out each step in detail. Next, create a diagram using a drag and drop software like JotForm to visually represent the process. And finally, 
test your workflow to ensure accuracy before deployment. Again, I'm Raid from Jotform, and thanks for watching. Take care.